Hey y'all, I finally have another video for you. Finally. Well, I had to finish cooking my peas and rice before doing the video because I can't have the food burn and have a little get together. And those peas right came out slamming. But, yes. What I have to review for you today, which a few people have been asking me to do it, is Apple Vita. I have my hair now. I gotta say, I like this line. I really do. I really do. Let me go I'll take my head down. Oh, I love this thing. This holds all of my hair. Well, just about now. These twists are about three days old, I think. And I also banded them. So they're probably hanging a little bit longer than they usually do because I banded them when they were drying. I'll put pictures of that up in my Faki feeder. But yeah, it smells so... God, it smells so freaking good. Oh my God. And it feels good. Oh yes, the owner's name is Mala. She's so nice. She's really nice. Very really nice lady. And I like her stuff. So, yeah. Let me show you the little, the, I have what? I'm gonna put somebody's coffee. Hold on. Yes, darling. That's alright, wait, let me clear it right back, okay? Right. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Well, I was gonna show you the products. What do I have? I have the Shukakai Hay Growth Elixir. This is her rice bran. Well, it's like, oh, what is it? Rice bran is a, a shampoo bar. That's it. And the uh, Ashley Amala Red Raspberry Deep Conditioner Mask. Shea Amala Whip Buttercream. I can't even talk. Curly Custard. Pure whipped hair jelly and the totally twisted ginger almond butter. So I'll show you the consistency of everything too. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. This doesn't have much of a smell to it. Some people said their hair was felt too dry with this, but I mean I know what shampoo bars make your hair feel like, so I know what's what I like and what I don't. I like this one. It's not bad. We'll clean your hair. Just you know, use a conditioner afterwards. You should be fine. Sugar Kai Hair Growth Elixir. Now I just only use it about once, but it makes your head smell like a cup of sweet peppermint tea, which I love. Love this stuff. And it's liquidy, it's not thick or anything. And then let me show you the hair mask. This is it. You can see the consistency. Okay, you can see, right? Okay. It smells like a raspberry, like a sweet tart raspberry. I, I used to have it in a jar at one time, but my hair needed it because I had done a henna mixed with amla, which I need to post the videos for that. But yeah, I would get more of this. They have another, they're having a sale until Jan, uh, July 31st, so I do want to get more. And you can, it says you can leave this in your hair with it wrapped in a warm towel. I use the heating cat to in my life. That's what I use. So... Darn, I'm missing one. The cocoa, the moisture mask. Okay. So, I'm missing the jar, but it's good. It's the cocoa latte moisture mask. It's another hair butter. Good stuff. I use it in my hair with some lustrous soap because it leave it. left my hair very smooth. That was after the henna armor. It left my hair soft, so I was like, okay. Very good. But I'll talk about the hair butters. Shea Amla Whipped Buttercream smells heavenly. This is what it looks like. It's a thick consistency. She fills these drawers up to the brim. She's very generous with her portions. So kudos for that. This is one. They had a third of naturally curly about using this with Oye and Honey and Hemp as a leave-in. And then you put the butt on top. Good stuff. The combo smells great smells off the hook. Everybody loved the house smell in my hair. This is the curly custard. It's not really a custard. It's like a hair butter. Excuse me, hearing it. This smells more cake-ish to me. 
Also, this is another thick butter, very moisturizing. Some people said that, well, I read a review, she said it gave it like jerry like, jerry curl like curls. Now, I don't know how it could have done that with this alone. Maybe she used something else with it and I just don't remember. But, what I learned when I was, as I was doing my twist, but I was using them with the totally twisted ginger, ginger almond butter, which I'll just show you in a second. I'll, I'll show it to you now. This is my last order, and she has pop tops. So it's cool. I'll put the little thing back in there to protect it. I don't want the air getting to it. But it's cool. This is a consistent guy, and I have a hair in it. Yeah, like I said, this is what I have in my hair right now. This smells, it's weird. This smells lighter, but I use the pure whipped hair jelly with it. And this smells like vanilla. I got a large shop because I knew I would be using it. This is a process of food. It seems like a jelly. Like a jelly. Oh my god, it smells so freaking good. It's amazing. Okay, but what I was going to tell you. When I was twisting my hair with the totally twisted ginger, ginger almond butter and the pure whip jelly, I was pulling it through sections of my hair, sort of like curly te um, Terry on the curly primer, the way she like runs her hand through a section of her hair, and I noticed that my curls were like really defined and smooth, so you could probably use one of the butters or even the curly cusset with the whip jelly, and it worked nicely. You know I have to try that next, right? But I didn't feel like having loose head today knowing that we were having a barbecue. I didn't want it. I don't want to ask for. I know I'm having a barbecue and I'm doing a hair review. But I don't <laughs> so, yeah. I wish I had the cocoa latte mask to show you. But it looks sort of like this. It's like a whip butter. It looks the same. That stuff is good too. I like all of these. So. Like I said, my hair's. I used one of the. I used. What did I use first to twist my hair long? I used the curly custard. And it helped, but my hair, it, it looked really good too. It looked really good. It looked soft and moisturized and shiny. But my hair needs a little bit of a styling product because I get a lot of frizz. Now, like I said, this is day three. And I only have, let me look, my crown, this is a frizzy area. I don't really have a lot of frizz here. So I was like, all right, the jelly really did hold. I don't know if I used the jelly alone. It might. It made my hair a little bit hard. I tried. To, I was just trying to smooth my hair back in a brush. I like it better with the butters. But yeah. So kudos to that. I will be trying more of their products. They have some conditioners and stuff. They have some things for men. So try it. Fovada. Oh, I'm moving from the camera. Sorry. Afoveda.com. It's only currently, I believe, yeah, it's only sold on there right now. But I'll post a link for you. Um, and I think that's it. Let me see what I'm at. Oh, I am on time. Great. Eight minutes and 22 seconds. Okay, so yeah. That's everything. That's everything I have. So, that's just comments. I hope everybody's having a good summer. I've been working that's why I haven't been around but I'm on vacation right now so I'm gonna try to catch up with some more of my emails and update my Faki and everything else all right my darlings I'll probably post the henna and omelet video I showed how I mixed it I couldn't show how I applied it because I was like I have it in my Faki though if anyone wants to see and that's when I was doing the regular henna it might I don't know if it loosened up my hair or not it looked like it did maybe like that much to me but I could just be going crazy I don't know but I won't be doing it again I had a box of henna and I want to get rid of it and I mix it with a full box of omelet and then a half box of omelet just to get rid of it and I know omelet tightens up your curls so I didn't want to um I don't want the henna to get too loose make it too loose like it did before so I just mix it in there but now I have like well you can't see it now but this look at my hand it's on the sort of like a brown reddish it's pretty I like it though so I'm happy it's feeling soft enough because I've been deep conditioning the heck out of my hair because you know it can dry your hair out so you have to deep condition deep condition deep condition all right I don't want the video to get too long so I'm gonna go post this and enjoy my bone we'll talk to you later bye.